Good morning students. My name is Mandeep Kaur from California Public School. Hope all of you are fine. Now let's start today's topic. Today we are going to start a new topic. The name of the topic is how can we find a square root of a complex number. So let's start how can we find a square root of a complex number. Uh, let us suppose we have a number minus complex number minus 7 plus 24 ita. And we have to find its square root. Now in which way we can find out a square root of a complex number. That one is very easy concept. So let's start here. We have to find a square root of minus 7 plus 24 ita. So let us take its square root is equal to x plus ita y. Why? Because when we will do the square root of a complex number, that always gives a complex number. So the square root of a complex number always gives a complex number. So let us suppose the square root of this is equal to x plus ita y. So our main motive is to find the value of x and y. So in which way we can find out? Firstly, here is a square root. So you just have to do it the scaring on both sides because we have to remove that square root. So scaring both sides. Scaring both sides. So here is minus 7 plus 24 ita is equal to here is x plus ita y whole square is there. After that, use the identity a plus b whole square. In the left side, we have minus 7 plus 24 ita is equal to here is a square plus b square plus 2ab. The value of a is x, the value of b is ita y. So here is minus 7 plus 24 ita is equal to here is x square. Now here is ita square y square and the value of ita square is minus 1. So it becomes minus of y square and here is 2 ita x y. Now look at here. Here is a complex number. Its real part is minus 7 and its imaginary part is 24. And that is also a complex number. Real part is x square minus y square and imaginary part is 2 x y. So one complex number is equal to another complex number. Then we can use a concept of equality. That means equating its real and imaginary parts. Equating real and imaginary parts. Now, here is minus 7 is equal to here is x square minus y square. Name it equation number 1. And here is imaginary part is 24 is equal to here is 2xy. So here find out the value of xy. Here is 2 multiplied with xy. In this side it will be divided. So 24 by 2 that gives the answer. 12. So the value of xy is 12. Now after that you just have to use this formula. In every question you have to use these steps. You have to follow the same steps in every question of square root of a complex number. After that use the formula. Here is x square plus y square whole square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4 x square y square. Now firstly I am going to explain how this formula becomes. So firstly you know about that what is identity of a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. So I am going to explain here. Here is a plus b whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab. And a minus b whole square that is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now you have to subtract both these ones. So change the symbol. Here is negative. Negative here is positive. You have to subtract both these ones. So it becomes here is a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. a square minus is both are cancelled. b square minus b square both are cancelled. Cancel. Now 2ab plus 2ab that gives the 4ab. Here is negative. On right side it becomes positive. So a plus b whole square is equal to a minus b whole square plus 4ab. Now compare it with this one. The value of a is x square. The value of b is y square. a is x square. b is y square. So here is a plus b whole square. That means x square plus y square whole square. 
here is a minus b whole square that means x square minus y square whole square because the value of a is x square and the value of b is y square after that is 4 a b that means 4 into a into b that is x is 4 x square into y square so in every question whenever you have to find a square root of a complex number then you have to use this formula now i'm going to raise this Okay, after this, here is x square plus y square whole square is equal to, now the value of x square minus y square that is minus 7. So, put the value here, minus 7 square plus 4. Now, the value of x, y is 12 and here is x square y square that means you have to do its scaring. So, its value is 12 and its scare is here. So, x square plus y square and its whole square is equal to, its scare is 49 plus 4, 12 square is 144, so it becomes 49, plus here is 576 is there, whenever you will add, you will get the answer 625, so x square plus y square and its whole square is 625, so the value of x square plus y square is square root of 625, that gives plus minus 25, now look at here, here is the addition of addition of square of two numbers and that is plus minus 25 but the addition of squares of two numbers always gives the positive number so you just have to take the positive value instead of negative so name it equation number two here is our first equation x square minus y square equal to minus seven and here is our second equation whenever you will solve both these equations then we can easily get the values of x and y. So here is our first equation and here is our second equation. I am going to write in this side. Here is x square minus y square equal to minus 7. x square minus y square equal to minus 7. That is our first equation. And here is x square plus y square is equal to 25. That is our second equation. Now adding both these equations, adding 1 and 2. Here is x square plus x square. That is 2x square. y square negative and y square positive. Both are cancelled. And 25 minus 7. That gives the answer 18. So x square is equal to 9. 18 by 2. That gives the answer 9. So the value of x is plus minus 3. x square equal to 9. That means the value of x is plus minus 3. Firstly, I am going to repeat this again. After that, we will find the value of y. First of all, you have to find the square root of a complex number. So, write it is equal to x plus eta y because the square root of complex number always gives a complex number. x plus eta y, that means our main motive is to find the value of x and y. After that, you have to do its scaring. Whenever you will do its scaring, you have to equate its real and imaginary part. Real and imaginary part. From here you can get the first equation. And from here you can get the value of x, y. Whichever will be coming in every quotient. That depends upon the value of quotient. Now after that you always use this formula. In every quotient you have to use this formula. x square plus y square whole square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4 x square y square. You just have to put down the value here and that you can get the second equation that is x square plus y square equal to 25 after that you have to solve both these equations 1 and 2 after solving this you have the value of x is plus minus 3 now in which way we can find the value of y from here that is our third equation firstly here is x equal to plus minus 3 so take firstly x equal to plus 3 find value of y after that take x equal to minus 3 then find value of y. So firstly I am going to write here. I am going to rub this one. Okay. Now we have. Here is xy equal to 12. I am going to write here xy equal to 12. When x equal to positive 3. When x equal to plus 3 then the value of y that is y is equal to here is 
3 and in this side it will be divided so 12 by 3 that gives the answer 4. That means when x equal to 3, y is equal to 4. Now when x equal to minus 3, x equal to minus 3, then y is equal to, here is minus 3 in this side, it will be divided in this side. So 12 by minus 3 that gives the answer minus 4. So when x equal to minus 3, y equal to minus 4. Now what is our square root? The square root of this is square root of minus 7 plus 24 eta is equal to. First is when x3, y4. So put the value here x3, y4. So 3 plus 4 eta. 3 plus 4 eta. Or the second one is x minus 3 and y is minus 4. So the second answer is minus 3 minus 4 eta. That is the square root of a complex number. Let us take one more example that you can understand it easily in which we can find out the square root of a complex number. Okay, now we have to find the square root of 1 plus 4 and root of minus 3. So, firstly convert it into form of a complex number. So, it can be written as 1 plus 4. Here is negative of root 3. It can be written as root 3 eta. Root 3 eta. Now, firstly we have to find its square root. So, right here the symbol of square root. We have to find its square root. So, take its square root and is equal to x plus eta y. After that, what we have to do? We have to do it scaling on both sides. Scaling both sides. So, here is 1 plus 4 and root of 3 eta and in this side we have x plus eta y whole square. Use the identity here. So, here is 1 plus 4 and root of 3 eta and here is a square. That is x square and b square that means eta y square. Eta square is minus 1 so it gives the answer minus y square. Plus 2ab so it gives 2 eta x y. After that you have to do it say equating real and imaginary parts. Equating real and imaginary parts. So here is the real part that is 1 is equal to in this side we have x square minus y square so write it equation number one here is imaginary part is four root three and in this side we have two x y two is multiplied in this side so it will be divided so two twos are four that is two root three that is the value of x y after that use the identity which identity x square plus y square whole square that is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4 x square y square. Now put the value here, the value of x square minus y square that is 1. So 1 square plus 4, the value of x y is 2 root 3. 2 root 3 because here is square, so take its square. So it becomes here is 1 plus 4. Now what is 2 root 3 square? That means 2 square is 4 and root 3 square is 3. So 4 multiply 3 that gives the answer 12. Here is 2 square. That is 4 and root 3 square that gives the answer 3. So 4 multiply 3 that gives the answer 12. So we have x square plus y square whole square. x square plus y square whole square is equal to 1 plus 12 fours are 48. So 1 plus 48 that gives the answer 49. So the value of x square plus y square that is plus minus 7. Again, we have to take the positive value because the addition of two, addition of square of two numbers cannot be negative. So, take the positive value x square plus y square equal to 7. Here is our second equation. Now, we have to solve the first and second equation to find the value of x and y. So, first equation is x square minus y square equal to 1 and second one is x square plus y square equal to 7. Here is first equation. Here is our Second equation. Now we have to add both these equations. x square plus x square that is 2x square minus y square plus y square. Both are cancelled. 1 plus 7 that is equal to 8. So the value of x square equal to 4. That means the value of x equal to plus minus 2. Now we have to find the value of y. So you have to put it in that third equation. xy equal to 2 root 3. xy is equal to 2 root 3. 
Now when x equal to positive 2. When x equal to positive 2. Here is positive 2. In this side it will be divided. So both 2 and 2 cancelled. So the value of y is root 3. y equal to root 3. So here is the first values of x and y. Now when x equal to minus 2. When x equal to minus 2. Here is minus 2. In this side it will be divided. 2 by minus 2. That gives the answer minus root 3. So the value of y is minus root 3. So the square root of this is. I am going to write here, its square root is this side. Its square root is equal to his x plus eta y. So firstly x is 2, y is root 3. So first answer is 2 plus root 3 eta. Or x minus 2 root, sorry x minus 2 and y is minus root 3. So minus 2 minus root 3 eta. That is the square root of 1 plus 4 and root 3 eta. Hope so that all of you have been clear about in which way. We can find out the scale root of a complex number. Thank you so much everyone and now for tomorrow we will discuss the next topic that is the cube root of unity. Thank you so much everyone.